how do you feel that CERN and LHC is balancing uh, this uh, pushing the limit of what can be done engineering wise? Well, the machine, uh, the LHC machine is uh, very extreme in a sense. So we were expecting just to have hiccups. Of course, we would have expected just to have uh, smaller hiccups than that, as you say. Servicing it shouldn't have taken uh, six months. But unfortunately, uh, in complex system like we need the, the, to build in order to, just to exert uh, LHC, we have just to take into account uh, possible uh, things like that. The accident which has happened is, uh, in a sense, unfortunate because uh, with the, in the aftermath we could have avoided it, as always. Uh, once you make a post-mortem of uh, one thing, if you are not completely dumb, you know, how just to let it happen, uh, uh, not happen again. On the other hand, in a thing which took about 20 years just to be built, and it will be working for another 20 years, uh, we think that uh, a six-month stop, in, stop uh, will a later start of six months, which is a different thing, uh, is not uh, a, a, big, a big question. Uh, the thing is that it's difficult to communicate that in a, uh, an object like LHC, you don't have uh, a construction time and then it, the, 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 the thing works. It's not like a car that you get from the factory and it works perfectly and it works that, uh, so much better uh, so uh, as uh, it is new. In a new thing like that you have just to have a learning curve which will go on for more time. We will have different type of hiccups for instance concerning the increasing luminosity intensity of the machine we will need just to understand things like the, the, how the, the machine behaves. This will uh, be a process which will take years just to bring it to these top performances but in the meantime we will be doing physics we will do the discoveries. So it, it, it is a process. It has been unfortunate that this uh, stop has happened so close to such a big mediatic thing, which was, as a, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the first and very successful thing. is the first time that a machine is uh, commissioned uh, under the TV uh, cameras. That's right. And it was a very risky business because there was, uh, there, there was the, the risk that we could not make it in one day. Most of the times you don't make it in one day that you succeed just to have a beam just circulating around. That was a success. The accident was a big, a big setback. My second question concerns uh, the way you analyze data. Uh, you have uh, filters that I describe as oracles. Yes. Because you have so much data that uh, you have to decide even before uh, storing the data, even before starting to analyze the data that you stored, to throw away 99% of it. And these filters, these oracles, are the ones who decide which is the interesting slice. So there is this saying uh, of known unknowns uh, as compared to unknown unknowns. And uh, I would like you to comment whether it is the case that you are concentrating on the first category uh, and at least for the moment you are accepting the risk of avoiding the opportunity of sec studying data belonging to the second category of bigger surprises. Well, one uh, can never exclude that because nature uh, is, more, is more cunning than, than, than our, uh, our imagination. But. Uh, what we try to avoid with this uh, different filter level is just to throw away uh, the kid with the, the, with the, with the water. Eh? And uh, because uh, we are more interested in the unknown unknowns than in the known unknowns. But this is easily done uh, at the beginning because the thing that we are throwing away are not thrown away before we study them. We throw away, I mean, protons are com um, complex objects, I mean, are not elementary particles, are done by a number of, uh, of uh, quarks and gluons. When you uh, throw a proton against another proton, 
is like throwing two garbage uh, bags, one against the other. What you're interested in is what we call the hard uh, scattering, in which one of the constituents, uh, a quark uh, or a gluon, hits at a very small distance, in a very hard way, another constituent. Most of the time, the, proton, uh, the two protons will interact as a wall or in a very peripheral way. This has a much higher probability than uh, any, any uh, 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 than the hard scattering. So you can study at the beginning uh, this uh, peripheral thing because you get an enormous statistics without having a machine operating a very high. So you can study it in detail and it's useful for understanding some details. We have studied it in all the machine and we want just to study it also there. When you gain confidence that there you understand everything, you start to raise the level of your filter and say, well, this thing, I have enough data uh, collected just to study it, and then I can move, harden my, 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 my filter. Most of the unknown unknowns, anyway, we don't know what they are, but we know how we will see it in this, in this part of the world, because, for instance, they all will appear with having large missing energy, large uh, transverse momenta, and that even before understanding what it is, we keep it. So I think that the probability that we throw away some unknown unknown is very small. A new administration is coming to CERN uh, starting uh, January 2009. Uh, the previous one had a, a policy of control uh, with regards to what uh, uh, the physicists working could autonomously on their own communicate via blogs for example and this policy was perceived by some as fairly restrictive. How would you comment, what do you expect the new administration uh, to, to, to say, what recommendations will there be? Well, I, I think that transparency is uh, a prime value in science. Transparency, science uh, and especially fundamental science as just to be uh, as, a, as a fundamental uh, root in the transparency. So I am very uh, prone just, just to say that we want uh, to implement transparency as much as uh, we can. There is uh, the possibility that rumors are spread around which are damaging for the institution or for the field, but this, in my opinion, has not just to be restricted but it has just to be counteracted, because in our field, respectability is the most important thing. And the person who makes a fool of himself has just to be exposed. <laughs>